We once thought it was the hypothalamus, which was the most important organ. But now, alternative medicine is really considering the thyroid as being so important. So it's your daytime energy. It's what gets you up in the morning and carries you through the day. So if it's imbalanced, you're going to have a lot of fatigue. It's also your enzymatic processes. In the United States, when someone does a thyroid test, they only test usually for TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone, and T4, which is storage and transportation of the thyroid hormones. That's it. That's all they test for. But we forget that there's other thyroid hormones. So in the United States, we don't test for T1. This is crazy because T1 is your all your enzymatic processes. And your brain-based amino acids are the backbone of thyroid issues. And those are run with enzymes in, in your liver. So how important is brain health to your thyroid? That's T1, yet we don't test for it. We also don't test for T2. T2 is mitochondrial health. Mitochondrial makes ATP, that's your energy in all your cells. So not only will you be fatigued in the morning because the thyroid's not working right, but if your mitochondrial isn't working right, you're going to be fatigued on an internal basis like you can't even explain it to people. And yet we don't test for that. T2 is also part of the human growth hormone. And that's important, particularly for all these little kids that are being born with low birth weight and not growing properly. The mitochondrial is connected to a lot of chronic disease, cancer, um, heart disease, metabolic syndrome, diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Huntington's, ALS, diabetes, you name it. All of those are attached to mitochondrial, and yet we don't test for it at all. Mm -hmm.